and welcome to Caw Creations. It is Wednesday, May 6th, and I am Cheryl Ann, and I, this is a podcast about knitting and books I've read from my house in Prince Edward Island, Canada, where I live with my husband and my daughter. So, it's been a while. Um, things are going okay. Uh, Tim and I got away in early March. We went to Barbados and we had a really nice trip. We spent some time on the beach and just relaxed. Um, love Island people. Barbados reminded me of Prince Edward Island. Uh, it was just so relaxing. And we got back on March 13th and self-isolated for two weeks. And by the time we were done self-isolating, everybody was isolating. So, um... We've been at home. We're both lucky. We can both work from home. Uh, we have good internet connection, and um, yeah, so it's been it's been a ride. Uh, yeah. So let's get into what I've been up to. Um, been doing quite a bit of knitting. Um, what I find is I don't have a lot of attention span. Um, so I've been doing really easy projects. I have for the last year really been doing pretty easy projects that don't require a lot of thought. Um, but lately I want to finish something because we're doing all this planning through work and we're doing all these things that never seem to end. So I've started doing baby hats and I've done a whole lot of baby hats and I have a friend, um, who's a nurse, at a in the ICU for babies at the QEH in Charlottetown so she can take them right in. So it's wonderful. I can feel like I'm doing something um, that's good and relaxing um, and is helping out. So that's what I've been doing. Um, been using the pattern from the IWK and just modifying because I get bored and so I do different patterns. Um, there's a picture I'll insert here of the eight hats I gave this week. I gave seven last week. I don't know after that. I've been giving them all along. Um, had to start buying uh, washable yarn because um, I've been using my expensive yarns for hats. And um, yeah, so I ordered through, through Michael's. I got some Karen that was cotton acrylic blend and then just acrylic. Um, that they had that I could pick up, like road or pick up outside the door of the store. So I did that, which was perfect. I got a nice rainbow rug too that I have outside on my back deck. Um, been doing way too much online shopping since I've been home. Um, anyway, so that's that's one of the projects I've been doing. The other one I'm really um, excited to be finishing up is my ten stitch blanket. Um, it's really exciting because it's for my son who's graduating from engineering. So I'm really, really pleased to be able to give that to him. Um, really glad for him. He's, he's finishing up his engineering degree. Um, so it's nice for him. I'm not pleased with the blanket. And I told him that. <laughs> I said, I don't know what I did. My tension's off. It's kind of, some places it's stretched and some places it's together. It doesn't really lie as flat as I would like. And I used a little dishcloth for the center. So the center pops out like a little bump. <sighs> so I took a picture of it the other day and posted it on Instagram for anyone who follows me on Instagram. But that's why it's on me because that's the only way it looks good. And I'm really disappointed, but, um, I tried to tell him I'd make him another one, and he's like, no, Mom, this is what you made for me when I was going through school. I want this one. And he said, none of my friends are knitters. They won't know. And the one who is a knitter, she makes mistakes, too. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to let it go and be okay with it and accept that I did my best. And I'm reading this book on self-compassion, and I have to remember that, you know what? All he wants is something to cuddle under, and he knows I made it for him with love and so perfect. So that's the other project I've been really working on. <laughs> I have a whole pile of projects down at the living room. It's like, oh, it's ridiculous. I should take a picture and show you. Uh, because I have a bench that um, technically you open it up and um, 
I'm not supposed to do more than that in the basket on top of it. <laughs> so it's funny. I also got a kit to make a shawl. And I'm looking forward to it. The shawl is called the Breathe and Hope Shawl. And breathe has been my mantra for the last year. Just breathe. Just get through it. If there's if you're having a rough day, just breathe in and breathe out. But my and this is the shawl is by Casa Pinka. I think I said that right. Um, it's the Breathe and Hope Shawl. So um, we're gonna start that with the group of us. So I ordered a kit and I got some um, fleece artist. Um, which one is it? Kaz? Oops, how do I do this? There we go, Kaz. It's a merino, um, merino and kid mohair blend. Um, and it's a really nice blue color. I really like it. Um, and then for the other color, I got, um, shades of purple. from, I can't pronounce that, the yarns. Um, this is a silk and mohair blend. And of course it's purple because I can't not make something like this in purple. So yeah, so I probably should finish my sweater before I cast that on, but I'm not going to. I'm probably gonna cast that on. What else have I bought? Oh, I bought yarn from Police and Harmony. I got some worsted weight lupin, lupin, lupine, um, and some natural color. I'm using it for doing a uh, double knitting workshop. So when the workshop comes out, you'll see what I'm doing with that. I got my mom for Mother's Day a uh, green and gray color of turtle pearl yarn with a gray for heels and toes. I also got some turtle pearl um I love this color. I just love it. It's so nice. And then I got some turtle pearl Gatineau fall. And this is a local dyer. Um, she dyes in New Brunswick, Canada, which is next door to Prince Edward Island. Um, so I bought, bought that. Yeah, so uh, what else have I done? Oh, I've been reading. I bought Kate Davies Wish. I know I'm saying that wrong. Book. It's wonderful. It talks a lot about different approaches to creativity and different ways people do it. And I liked it because it was kind of a story where you just um, uh, took what you wanted. And it just, it was good for me to get me back thinking about creativity and what I want to do creative wise um, now and I needed that I needed to get back into it and kind of come back to the the vlog and the different things so so no it was it was really good and I also bought Handy Woman so um, I'm looking forward to reading that as well and I got a, a sample uh, sheep of a sample of all the colors of yarn from the Kate Davies yarn. It's so cute. I'll take a picture of it and put it in here. I really like it. Um, yeah. And it was really good. And I also read The Glass Hotel. Now, um, it was good. I I liked the story. It's it's um, a sister, or well, a sister and brother, half sister and brother. Um, and it's a story about them and um, their lives. And it wasn't exactly what I was expecting. I had read Station Eleven by this author and really loved it. And this was quite different from that. It's more um, contemporary or could be contemporary. Um, uh, but I liked it. I really liked the characters. I got involved with them. I read it really quickly. So, so I was quite pleased. So, so that was good. And it's, right now I like to have good books to to get into. Um, I have The Tattooist of Auschwitz and Radium Girls to read, so hopefully by the next time I talk to you, I'll have read both of those. So yeah, that's about all that's going on. Um, we're safe in our isolation. We're doing okay. 
Prince Edward Island's been doing great. We've had no deaths and very few cases. We, we have a very small population and we're an island, so it's easy to shut down. But people have been doing really well and I've been quite pleased, um, feel really safe. Uh, so that's good. I've been doing a lot of um, baking like everyone else. I'm playing a lot with um, sourdough bread. It's been good. My family's getting sick of it and I really am not supposed to eat that much of it. Although I found that regular bread makes me sick, but sourdough bread, I can't get away with it, which is dangerous. So yeah. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm starting to feel better. Um, yeah. So I will podcast again. Oh, oh, we're, I'm doing a cow. I'm doing the Stasher Shelf Knit Along again. And um, I'm going to draw a winner from the people who've been participating in it. Uh, it's on my Ravelry group, and I will put the name below here. And congratulations on winning. Um, you will get a free pattern, any of my patterns that are posted on uh, Ravelry. And so if you message me in Ravelry, I will gift you that pattern. Great. So thank you very much for coming back and welcome if it's your first time. Have a wonderful day and happy knitting.